Okay, we're going to do some base 5 subtraction with unbundling. We're taking one, one bundle of 25s, or five fives, one bundle of five, and two singles. And we're going to take away 4-4 four, four base 5. And some of you might think, why is there not a 4-4 four, four on here? Well, because we're going to take it away from the 1-1-2. One, one, so, let's see how we can do this. It says we need to take 4 away from 2. Can you do that? I don't think so, Karen. So, what do you think we can do to make the take 4 away from this? Can we unbundle the 5s? Yes, let's unbundle this group of five. Okay, whoop, pretty quickly. And then that leaves us with a whole bunch of pencils over here, so it looks like I can take away four. Does it carry over here to one, two, base five over here? Yeah, so exactly. This is showing what really happens with that standard algorithm. We took the one five away and put it over into the ones. So we have one, two, base five singles now shown both here on the place value chart and here on the standard algorithm. So that's really nice that they, they correlate exactly. It kind of makes me want to rebundle it. What should I do now that I have so many right there? Oh, before you want to rebundle, let's do the takeaway. Okay. <laughs> We're supposed to take away four. And a lot of people want their little placeholder here. Yeah. Um, so let's take away those four. Here's four. Okay. And we're going to take those away. Boop, they're gone. And what's left? Three, I think. Yeah, there's three pencils left here. So that's a three in base five, which is the same as a three anywhere else. So we've done the ones place. We took away four ones from two ones, but we had, we had to unbundle the fives over here. So now there's nothing left here. There's a zero left here. So since there's a zero left here, and we need to take four away from that zero, how are we going to do that? Well, I think we should unbundle the really big one. Yeah, let's unbundle the five groups of five. Here's our five groups of five. We're going to unbundle them, and now we can just kind of make this whole big thing. The, the, yeah. Okay. These are all fives. There's one zero base five? Oh yes, now it's a one, one zero base five. But we just unbundled it. Okay. So it's five groups of five, and we need to take four of them away. So one, two, three, four. Here's our four okay. groups of five that we needed to subtract. So we're taking those away. Now they're gone, and we have left how many groups of five? Two. So there's a two, three, base, base five. five. Yep. Okay. So that shows the unbundling with the pencils that is so important for kids to understand why we do all that stuff up here in base 10. And when you actually do it by unbundling, it, it helps really understand a lot. And let's, let's talk about how to draw this because we can't always do it with the pencils, but we're going to want to see what it looks like. Okay, so now we're going to draw the unbundling step. We're going to do the same problem as before, and it's going to be 1, 1, 2, base 5, minus 4, 4, base 5. And as you can see, I've already set up the way I like to do this. Some of you guys might find this helpful. I like to do it in the chart. And when you set this up, you can see we have our 1, 25, our 1, 5, and our 2, 1s. Now when you set it up, you have to make sure that you have all your little dots. I know it's a big pain in the butt, but if you don't, then it's not bundling. You have to have the little dots, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. So first, we need to take 4, 5, 4 base 5, away from our 2 base 5, which as you already know, doesn't happen on its own. So we're going to unbundle. So I'm going to cross this guy out and bring him over here and he's going to unbundle from a little circle to five dots. Awesome. So now we have way too many things in the ones because you just can't have that many over here. So we're going to take away our four. Bye guys. Okay. And I like to keep redrawing my steps. It makes things a thousand times 
more clear for me. So I'm going to draw a line and I'm going to start again. So you can see I have my... So what we just did here was this, right? We, we unbundled this, which made it nothing. And then over here, instead of a 2, we have a 1, 2, base 5. And we subtracted and we got just those three, one, two, three little guys left. So now we'll move on over to the twenty or the fives place and see what happens there. We had the zero, so now Ariel's gonna decide what we gotta do next. Okay, so I have it all drawn out here. You see again, I still have my one in the twenty fives place. I got nada over here because I unbundled it, and then I have a three in the ones place. Okay? So that is basically one, zero, three, base five. Okay? So now we need to take away four from nothing. Oh gosh, how will we do that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and unbundle again. And you know how much I love unbundling. So we're going to move this over here. And it becomes four, five. Do not forget your dot. Okay, and oh my gosh, we still have way too many things because we can't have five of anything anywhere because it's base five. So we're going to take these four and make them go away. So now, now that we're looking at it, we can draw our next line for our next step and move everything down. So we still have one here. and three here. So this actually comes out to one, three, base five. And there you go. Anyways, so I hope you like the way that I do it because I find it very helpful. Uh, bye.